Senator John Taylor, he's part of the Baseball Northwest team here at the Arizona F Senior Fall Classic. And, and John, right off the bat, you know, you're down here, beautiful weather, a lot nicer than it is in Washington right now, in Oregon. What what things are you hoping to demonstrate and hoping to showcase while you're down here? I just want to showcase the way I play, just tough and dirty and gritty. And if things don't go my way, then that's all right. That's the way baseball is, but... I'm just going to play every pitch like it's my last and just grind through every minute of it. Hey, you talk about, you know, kind of dirty and grinding, and that's really kind of the motto of, of junior college and, you know, baseball. And, and you know, you've committed to, to Yakima, who is a part of the NWAC and been really a, a top-level team the last few years. What things about that school kind of excited you and really drew you toward, towards them? Uh, one of the coaches, Coach Cash and Crust Angel, really took me in and showed me the program and made me feel welcome and really let me know. Let me know what they, they were all about, and I feel like it was the perfect fit for me. And the facilities they got there are top level, and just the way they coach and their players are, it's, it's the place I want to be. And then, you know, here it is, you know, uh, you know, fall, you still have, you know, all winter and then the spring ball to play and get ready. What things are you hoping to improve on and really focus on as you get ready for um, senior year of, of high school ball, but also getting ready for college? Uh, one, just the tools. I'm going to get bigger, stronger, faster, and then everything will follow. I just got to not waste a minute and not let up on anything just because I committed. That doesn't mean, oh, everyone else... It's just gonna fall behind. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on working on that, and you know, to keep pushing. You know, it, although it takes you having that motivation, it also takes people to kind of encourage you and push you. Mm -hmm. Who in your life has been kind of that motivator and encourager to keep you going? Uh, my dad. He's been there, pushing me after every game, before every game. But also my teammates and coaches. My buddy Cameron Clayton over at Lakers is always pushing me. We're, we're partners when we're hidden, we're lifting buddies, and it's just never ending the work we put through. And then, you know, for a lot of players as they're, they're growing up, they'll, you know, look at Major League Baseball and, and see different players and either try and um, copy their style or even just their mentality. Is there a player you've looked at and said, you know, you know, it's one of my favorite players and I just love the way they play or their style? Uh, Pablo Sandoval. He's kind of that big guy, but he doesn't let his size, like, take him down. He's always working his hardest, getting, diving dirty. Just swinging at every pitch he can. It's just what I love to watch, and I feel like if I play that way, people will love to watch me. Absolutely. And the last question I have for you, you know, you're out of the ball field, there's always kids out there watching games. And what advice would you have for kids who want to play at a higher level, and you know, whether it be high school or even on to college, what advice would you give to them? Uh, this game is, people say it's a game of failure, and three times out of ten, if you conquer that failure, then... You're gonna, you're a pretty damn good ball player, and what I like to think it's a game, not of dealing with failure, but conquering failure, and how you can pull through even when you do fail. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, John. Thank you.